Hello students, today's agenda is to go over your homework. Uh, we're going to be setting up equations and your homework is going to be for 5.2. Today's students will be able to read word problems and set up a system of equations. Remember system of equations means that you have um, more than one equation and you're just trying to find where the two lines would meet, but right now we're just setting up the equation from word problems. Okay, so we have a problem in here. It says a number is twice as much as another. Their sum is 12. And we're gonna set up the equations, but I wanna do two things before we even start this. And the first thing is to review some vocabulary. So, more than, it's addition, less than, is subtraction. And there are more words uh, that you're probably familiar with, but the reason for which I'm mentioning this too is because they are special ones. Whenever you see this word than, more than or less than, um, you're gonna change the order. And I'm saying this because you will need that information in some of the word problems. Um, in here, we don't need it, but the next ones we might, okay? So another one that we want you to know is double and twice. Both of these means multiplied by two. Okay, so when we say double, it means multiply by two. When we say twice a number, it means a number multiplied by two. Okay, and one more is n times as much. For example, if he says seven times as much, it means multiply by seven. Okay, so if it says five times as much, it means multiply by five. So depending on what number this is, um, it says multiply by that number. Multiply Okay, so I hope you can see it. Again, more than, plus, less than, minus, but we have to change the order and once we get to that problem, I'll remind you of what that means. Double or twice, multiply by two, n times as much, multiply by that number, okay? By whatever that number is. Um, some other ones that you might need not in this lesson, but that you might want to um, add to your list is difference. It means subtraction and you don't change the order in there. And also uh, the product. It means the result of multiplication. I usually put a little dot for multiplication, but you can also use parentheses with nothing in the middle. And another one is quotient. Quotient is the result of division, okay? The answer of division. So you will be applying division to find the quotient. You would find the answer of the multiplication to find the product, okay? Um, and there are other ones that you're probably more familiar because you have seen in the past, like the sum, it means addition. Um, plus means addition, minus is subtraction, okay? But these, overall, these are the ones that we need to um, just kind of like remember. Okay, so now let's go to the first exercise. A number is twice as much as another. So I want you to, a, a lot of people get confused like, oh, I hate word problems. And usually the reason is because they don't see that there is um, a way to differentiate of what to do. And here it says a number is twice as much as another. So it's a comparison of two different numbers. 
okay? How does one compare to the other? And when you see something like that, I usually say, all you have to do is just read the sentence. Read the sentence and start writing your equation as it goes. But before you even write the equation, I want you to have this um, in your notes as well. It says, these are some steps to solving or well solving equations, but it says read the problem. We already did. We're going to underline keywords. We're going to do that in a minute. We're going to decide what information is missing, which is going to be replaced by variables. And we're going to set up our equations. And finally, we would be solving, except that we're going to stop at this point right here. Okay, so we're just gonna go up to setting up equations. In the future, um, we're going to learn how to solve um, the system of equations in three different ways. So we read the problem, a number is twice as much as another, their sum is 12. The keywords would be a number, and we don't know its value, so we're gonna replace with one variable. Is, that's important as well, twice as much as another and their sum is 12 okay so those are the keywords that we need to know when we're comparing that's when we're going to uh, write just as it goes as said when we have to switch the order but what does it mean when just as it goes okay so a number that would be x another number, meaning another number that we don't know, so we're going to replace that with y, okay? And we're ready with the keywords, we're ready to set up the equation. So a number is, in math, is, is represented with an equal sign. So a number is twice, twice we already said that it means multiply by two, twice as much as another number. So that's it. A number is twice another. See how easy that is? When we're comparing numbers, you just write it the way it is. Then with the other sentence, it says their sum is 12, meaning the sum of the two numbers. Be careful, some people will put x plus 2y equals 12. This 2 doesn't belong to the another number. The another number is just y, not 2y. This is just to help us how these two compare. Okay, so the sum of the two numbers, meaning x and y, is 12. Again, the reason for which we don't include the 2 in here is because this doesn't belong to the another number. Is just to see how that compares to the x. Okay, so that's all you're doing today. Just reading the problem. Maybe if you want to rewind this so that he can, like you, you can hear the explanation again and just see that it's not that complicated. A number is twice another. Okay, that's when we're comparing numbers. Their sum, it means the sum of the two numbers my x and my y, is 12, okay? Very simple. Okay, let's go to another one. And let's read the problem first. So it says, Chu has 10 more marbles than Juan. Together, they have 15 marbles. So what is the key words in here? Well, we know that Chuy has 10 more than Juan. 10 more than, 10 more than. Hmm. So that's one of those words. And let me take this back. I'll pull the other part. More than, more than. It's plus, but we also change the order. What that means is that the number before more than is going to come after the plus. 
and more than what or who that goes before the plus okay so that's what it means when we change the order and i'll show you right now how it would be written together together that's an important or key word together they have 50 marbles why together because together means addition as well okay so again we're comparing um choose marbles to juan's marbles and so we're going to put a c for chuy and a j for juan okay for juan and we're going to again when we're comparing somebody to some something to something else or somebody to somebody else's marbles we're just going to write it the way it is having in mind that sometimes it changes the order but it says chuy we just write chuy has instead of has it will be equals it's so this means choice marbles are equal to 10 more than one right chuy has now look how when i change order i just start from the end instead chuy has 10 more marbles than one okay every time i say i have that more than or less than i just switch it and start writing from the back or from the right to the left which we don't usually do um in this language we write from left to right right but more than will change the order and that's why 10 more than one together they have 50 marbles so the number of marbles that Chuy has plus the marbles of the number of marbles that Juan has together they are 50 okay so I hope this was not confusing because of that changing of order but again remember you're just writing comparison or just writing the sentence as it goes having in mind that you write backwards for more than and less than. Chuy has 10 more than, 10 more than Juan. Together, meaning we put them together, we add them together, they have 50, okay? Now let's, have, let's look at another one read the problem then we're going to underline the keywords decide what information is missing to replace with variables and finally set up the equation so mr hernandez has 50 dollars less than pedrito together they have 70 dollars and some of my students were trying to figure it out in like by logic just how much they had see if you can do that so mr hernandez has fifty dollars less than oh one of those again right where you switch the order except that less than means minus but you still have to switch the order meaning meaning that you can just start writing from the back to the front or from the right to the left i should say okay then pedrito pedrito it's one of the, we don't know how much he has we don't know how mr Hernandez has, so those will be your variables. Together, they have $70. Okay, again, it's a comparison, and I hope that with this it gets a little bit more clear. So let's represent Mr. Hernandez with H and Pedrito with P. Those could be our variables. Those are, and actually, we're not representing them, but the money that each one of them has. So Mr. Hernandez has 50 less than, oh, I'm going to start from the right, 50 less than Pedrito. Together, that's our next sentence. So together, they have 70. So together, Mr. Hernandez and Pedrito have a total of seventy dollars okay again today we're just setting up equations so that's it
And I think this is, and I hope, I think and I hope that this is getting easier. Okay, especially with those comparisons, that's one thing that we have to pay attention. And the switching the order um, also. Again, if you need more time, you can always pause it or just rewind, okay? Uh, read the problem. The yellow table is one more foot than twice as long as the green table. The tables are 16 feet long together. So when my students saw this, they're like, oh, this is too long. But then once we got to it, they said, oh, it's not as bad. It looks worse than it, it really is. Keywords. Yellow table, and it's talking about measurements, so that's that's what we're representing, right? The yellow table, when we put yellow, is just to know that it's talking about the yellow table, but in reality, it's how long it is. Is, that's one of our equal sign, remember? One more food than twice as long as the green table. The tables are 16 feet long together. So 16 together, okay? That's all. So when we add that two together, so basically put one, one table ne next to the other one, they're 16 feet. But how do they compare? Again, this is a comparison. This is different from yesterday's lesson when you're not comparing, right? You're just uh, looking at the uh, one and the other and what it's telling you but now it's comparing so the yellow table oh I forgot to decide what information is missing we don't know the measurement of one table and we don't know the measurement of the other one so we're gonna represent it with G for green table okay and that represents the measurement of the green table this represents the measurement of the yellow table and so it says the yellow table is, I hear, I see the word more than, so I'm going to start at the, on the right, one more than, and then it says twice the green table, or meaning twice G. And what does twice mean? Multiply by two, twice G, right, twice as long as the green. Again, yellow is one more than twice the green table. The tables are 16 feet long together. So together, my Y plus my, my yellow plus my green are 16 feet together, okay? So, Again, we already set up the equation. That's how far we are gonna go, and that's it. Um, so remember, you have to read the problem. You underline keywords. Decide what missing information you have and replace that with variables, and that's gonna help, uh, help you set up the equations. Okay, so now you can work on 5.2, and I hope this video helped.